Mama Cat. George. Hello, my fellow sniffers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and this is Sio. This is my sister in law, Sio, and we're here with who, Sio? Tai Tai. This is Tai Tai, our lesser self requested cockatoo. Tai Tai lives in Texas. And I'm in Texas with CO, and because of that, I completely forgot that it was Parent Tip Tuesday. So things are going to be a little bit different today. So we will be getting back to our Engage Not Cage features and our Burb vs. Borbs. Until then, we got to do this video on Ty for you because we're lucky enough to be here with our beloved Ty. Look at Ty. He's kind of tired. Look, he's got his footsie up. He just ate a he... big meal. So what we're going to do for this video is we're going to tell you what it's like to have a lesser sulfur crest cockatoo. And CO is the one that Tai Tai is in love with. So she's going to help me enlighten you guys on that. And also we both have experience with both Tai and our umbrella cockatoo and my rose breasted cockatoo. So we can tell you some differences, especially ones that CO has noted. Tell us a little bit about Tai and what it's like to live with Tai. He always has to see you. You always have to include him on things. You know, if you're doing dishes, I have to have him by me on the sink. Whatever I'm doing, he has to be able to see me. If not, he's always screaming. What does it sound like when he screams? Really loud. <laughs> Would you say that he's louder than Jersey? Yes. I would say so. <laughs> a lot more. He's like the decibel levels of a lesser sulfur crested cockatoo I think are some of the highest and I think the other difference, tell me if you agree or disagree, is that like umbrella cockatoos seem to have an overall calmer temperament. Don't you think? Yes. Definitely. Yeah, Jersey's also a female, so that helps a little bit. But overall, I would say that Ty is a lot more demanding. So Jersey, she'll go after things that she wants, but she's so much more fragile and sweeter about doing it. Now, some of that is because she's a female, but a lot of that is because I think umbrella cockatoos do have a great temperament compared to these guys. Don't get me wrong, he's really sweet, but I mean, man, he can scream mm -hmm. a house down, right? Yes, they can hear him down the street. <laughs> what else is it like living um, with Tai Tai? He demands a lot of attention. If you like don't pick him up, he'll try and bite you. So in the morning, first thing we do is give him a snack because he wakes up kind of cranky. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're dealing with like a small angry toddler. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Danny told me that you, if you go away and you come back, you have to come bearing gifts. Yes. And food gifts especially, yes. because otherwise he's definitely going to bite yeah. you. I always give him almonds or something, whatever you have. We try to give him something because of that he'll come and try to bite you. What is it like when a bird tries to bite you? Because a lot of people are like, the bird bit me, I'm going to keep him in the cage forever. What is your thing on that? We put him in the cage and told him, you know, it's not right. And then we take him out because, you know. We don't believe in keeping them in a cage for, for over long periods of time. Yeah, because birds bite, it yeah. happens, right? <laughs> I mean, even the most loving bird. Yeah. What else does Ty do? I heard he's kind of territorial. We have he some is. incidents <laughs> with Ty in the bed, right? Yes. Nobody can be in the bed. If I'm in the bed, Danny cannot come near me. Nobody can get near me. Marlene cannot come. <laughs> <laughs> no. We, today, we noticed that, right? Yeah, Jenna can't even come. We have some videos, guys. Like, seriously, we have videos. He'll of... come and jump on you. Like, <laughs> like no. get out of my bed! <laughs> <laughs> right, Ty Ty? Are you a good bird? He um, talks? What does he say? Yes. Time for bed, pretty little birdie, he'll say bye-bye, he screams Danny, and now Mommy. he says fatso. That's he calls so. me fat, so. <laughs> well, we learned today, which I'll tell you in a story time Sunday, he says, get out. Yes. Okay, clear as day. <laughs> and unfortunately, he was talking to me. And CO, you didn't even really ever meet a bird before, Ty, right? No, never had any experience with birds until I met the Parfrow family. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like the third time that I met Ty and he came for my face. <laughs> oh my God. And attacked me, but I don't know what happened that I was just in love with Ty and usually I'll be scared you know to go back and pet this bird but with Ty it was different I just you know get wanting to pet him and I think that's why we became best friends. Aww. So basically your advice to people is even if you have a cock too, even if he's angry, even if he's in love with your lover, I mean because wasn't he like Danny's bird, yes. then um, you still just keep trying and you kept trying and look at her now <laughs> and guess who the bird loves more now? Who do you love more Ty? Ty who do you love more? Oh, he's camera shy.
This is a special video. I wanted you to understand a little bit about what it's like having a lesser sulfur crested cockatoo and also a little bit about the difference between Ty and say Jersey. Also Ty used to be a plucker and um, when we rescued him like he's beautiful now unfortunately wasn't that easy with Jersey but a lot of people including me have theories that females are a lot harder to break the habit than males and Ty is a DNA tested male. Another thing you should know about Ty Ty can chew up the entire house and furniture, right? Yes. Clock or bed, couches, leather or clothes. <laughs> Somebody's pants were all chewed up and now Those they are mine. <laughs> Actually, Jersey has chewed some things, but definitely not near the amount of things that Ty chews. So that's kind of surprising. I mean, don't listen to this and think that you're ever going to find a bird that, like, chews nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he nodded. <laughs> <laughs> we try to give him toys and, you know, try mm. to keep him entertained. Yeah. So he doesn't chew the whole house. Yeah, so that's a thing. Keep that in mind before getting a lesser silver. Also, if you're worried about noise, these are some of the loudest birds with the most craziest temperament, guys. I mean, obviously he's sweet, but you have to decide before you get a cockatoo like Ty if you're willing to deal with a bird that you always have to deal with. Like, oh, he bit, let's now go through the process of training, let's go through the process of understanding his emotions. These animals are so complex, but that's why they make great companions because they're so entertaining to understand and to live with. But if you're not ready for a little kid, you're probably not ready for Tai Tai, right? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. It's like having a two-year-old for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> why do you love him so much? He is so loving. You know, he comes, he wants cuddles, he always wants to be with me. It's like, you know, nobody's in the home. It's like, I have somebody there. Yeah, he's like your best friend. Yeah, yeah he's so cute. Yeah. So that's Tai Tai, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let's see Tai Tai. Let's see how he likes cuddles and he kisses. Cuddles. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Parrot Tips on Tuesdays, Storytime Sundays. Join Parrot Station on Facebook. It's our Facebook group so we can see your birds. We don't want to just show you Tai. We want to know about your companions as well. Seal loves Parrot Station, don't you, Seal? Yes, I do. She's always on Parrot Station <laughs> liking all of your videos. Our whole entire family watches it. Thank you guys so much for that. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. You can follow Seal at Seal Fashion. Link is below. You can follow me at Marlene McCohen. And for your bird to be featured on Engaged Not Caged, that's my other Instagram account where we share your birds. Hashtag Engaged Not Caged. Hashtag me. Get my attention however you wish. My bestie Tracy has been doing really good with that account. So if you'll notice, Engaged Not Caged is back and we feature it here on Parrot Tip Tuesdays or Storytime Sundays. So I look forward to seeing all of your birds. We're filming here in Texas, so it's not the regular setup. This is like, oh my God, I forgot to make a video and I'm about to get on the plane back to Los Angeles right now. One more thing, look how well behaved Ty is though. I mean, seriously, if this was Cody right now, he would be all over the place. So we have to say that Ty has been really well behaved. <laughs> So that is it. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Thank you. Say bye, Ty. Say bye, Ty. He was cuddled. <laughs> He's like, no, I think I'll get a head scratch instead of performing. You want to say bye, Ty? Say bye. It's not happening. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>